What were they trying to prove by experimenting on themselves? We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. You're talking about the food supply, aren't you? What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. Oh, we know. I saw a presentation about this in Rockwell's office. Didn't look good. Then you know how desperate things are. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Hold on, what about aliens? Look around. We're the only intelligent aliens in Halcyon. All you have to show for it is a lab full of preserved colleagues. I know. I was there. Thomas was the first to take the gas. A simple test, he said. I told him not to, but he insisted. We learned a lot from his autopsy. Enough that we could try it on each other and know when to stop. No one else died. <clears throat> I must find a cure so his sacrifice isn't in vain. You burned through a lot of valuable scientists to arrive at zero solutions. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've Actually, already asked MVPs all the best here. institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Because someone gifted me a sub and I was so happy. <laughs> yeah. In the last few days, we had quite the gifting going on. Just thank you. Thank you for the support, everybody. Thank you, everybody who has been dropping the gift bombs <laughs> and gifting subs to each other. You're the MVPs here. Thank you. Isn't Cornelius Vanderbilt one of the assault cruisers patrolling Halcyon? Wait, the board wants to adapt the entire population of Halcyon? Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Hmm. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me hmm, a lot Me neither. Hope. You really think the board got our best okay. interests at heart? I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. Isn't Cornelius Wonder built one of the assault cruisers patrolling Halcyon? It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. It's aliens, you guys. Lilia sent me after a conspiracy, but it looks like I found a cover-up instead. I prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Where do we go from here? You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. Exactly. What do you think, Ellie? I try not to, at least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Mm -hmm. Right? Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. If only everybody was so welcoming when you're about to kill them. It's like, you know, it's fine, you do what you want, just please. Think carefully. <laughs> Parvati, how do you think we, sh we handle this? It seems like she's trying to help, Captain. Mm -hmm. Honest help. Ain't many in the colony doing that. We should let her try. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. 
consider that. Yeah, the... She keeps working with the board. No. With the board, she's not gonna get far. I think. Because the board's... You know Phineas Vales? If you work with him, I'll spare you. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. <laughs> Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? That didn't take much convincing. Right. So there really is no alien conspiracy. Alien conspiracy? No. What? Did you hit your head on your way in or something? I had to ask. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. But why don't I have Persuade 100? I thought I did. No. I thought I had a hundred. I didn't change my armor back. Mm, that's why probably. Sophia needs me alive. Damn. That's a real good one. Now move along. The doc has a lot of work okay. ahead of him. Tidying up and such. Yeah, I didn't change it back. What did, I, what did I have? This, this and I had this. Bam! My persuasion is 111. All I needed was 100. What do you mean I can't steal from here? She's packing up and leaving anyway. Why can't I steal this? I hope Dr. Wells has the resources to handle this. Oh man, Lilia is gonna be mad. She's gonna think we're indoctrinated by aliens, won't she? She's not gonna like this. One bit. Lilia's gonna be so mad. Uh oh. Okay, do we have anything? I don't think we have anything else here. Mm hmm. Yeah, we can. We can go back to Groundbreaker, and after Groundbreaker, we can get to Scylla? Scylla? Killa? However, it's spelled. We, we can go there. Some crew members are causing a disturbance. I definitely won that round. You always seem to, huh? Hmm. That's because I'm usually right. Groundbreaker. After we go to Lilia, we can do We've the Parvati quest. And send our girl on a date. Aw, oh, man. I really hope Parvati's date goes well. If her date actually even shows up, we still have to ask her to show up. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, right? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's just me, or has it been better than you? BNP, I can't believe it. Oh. What's up? Miss Lilia takes good care of us, see? The authorities stay off our tail. Oh. Is it done? I spoke to Chartran. I'm not going to kill her. Well, damn. 
contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Okay. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species? Or are we finished here? You misunderstood Charon's research. She's our best shot at survival in Halcyon. You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. At least it wasn't innocent. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. You think maybe she's got an itchy trigger finger? I don't want to find out. Wait, so that's it? I will no longer be able to work with her? What? It's not too bad. I said, get out. Hey, bye. Okay, bye, friend. You were fun. Miss Lilia says we ain't supposed to talk. Oh. Now I'm sad. They don't like me anymore. Salvage is a family business. We've got each other. Sublight for life. Um, yes. At least it doesn't count as doesn't count as botched. Mm-hmm. 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 Cool. Now we just have Parvati's date. And then we can head to our new planet. Let's save the game. Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. Young Millstone, you look pensive. Is it about foot, means, uh, the ball of sports again? Is he carrying a torch yeah, it is. Oh. I understand. The Rangers' <laughs> victories are your victories. Their defeats are likewise crushing. Are you serious? Wow, Max. Never expected you'd understand. This may come as a surprise to you, Felix, but I understand what it is to be a fan. That's so. You know something? Maybe I was wrong about you. To be a fan is to cultivate a mental disorder. You're living vicariously wow. through a tossball team. Nah, I was right the first time. You're a git, Max. <laughs> nice. Okay. I did a save, I think. Let's do a quick save and send our girl on a date. All right. She's on her way. How do I look? You look terrific. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Check in Captain on the Hoffman date. Used to be more dashing. Rude, Ada. Rude. Let's check in on the date. <laughs> oh, they got. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? Aww. Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He's probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Yeah, keep talking. I'm 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 having fun here. Keep talking. My father and I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, "You think Groundbreaker pays for itself? Someone's got to cover the bills." When I chafed against his deference to the board, sounds like he was afraid of him. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. Can I talk to her? Isn't this swell? It is. 
I could see why Parvati seems so happy here. Well, what about your mama? I, I don't mean to pry, you just hardly mention her, and I I've been wondering. She passed when I was small. Taught me how to change a fuse on her deathbed. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals of my childhood, my father said. Like she was A-B testing child rearing. Must be you got that exacting nature from her. Exacting is a kind way to put it. Inflexible, my father would have said. Bullheaded. Cold. Okay, anything more? Parvati and Juno seem to be having a great time. You should leave the ship and let them enjoy their day together. But I want to eavesdrop. Spicy says no. If you're cold, and I'm the void of space. Cold. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. I. Thank you. Okay, fine. Let's give them some privacy. You know. You gotta. Well, I could just stay in my quarters. Let them have their moments, stop being wild. Okay, okay, I'm going. I'm not gonna take you with me. I'm gonna take someone else. Girls just wanna have fun? Exactly. Exactly. But I'm protective of Parvati, so let's head back <laughs> now that we exited the ship. Let's go back, <laughs> see how she's doing. <laughs> Is everything okay? You girls need some more wine? What can I offer you? Can you offer you snacks? If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Hey girl, how was your date? Don't move, you got a little bit of sick in your tread. There, spick and span. Next time you find Yoka fixing the bar, I just dropped by me. to say no. Sure <laughs> Spicy, you rebel. Oh, hey, Captain. You are such a rebel sometimes. Okay, Captain, she's gone. You're too excited about that. I want all the details. I feel like running laps around the cargo bay. Let's do that. So she got here, and the first thing she said was, Oh, you smell nice, like mock apples. And I was like, yeah, new soap. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called mm -hmm. the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. So you, so you laid out the meal, brought John in, and started the music? She stood stock still and just said, oh, <laughs> She came, now she's gone. Oh, let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustbag casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. So the meal went well, the dessert, dessert too? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about... The things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage, and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Oh god, what was it? And? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold oh. like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. Aww. She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. What happened next? Don't leave me in suspense. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! Wait. It's delayed. It's ruining my moment here. There we go. She's got a girlfriend. What about your disinterest in physical affection? We talked about it some. I told her I wasn't sure how it would work, how I 
had a bad time of it in the past. She said we'll take it as it comes. Fix things together. Aww. Share meals, talk. That's awesome. Maybe she could rub my shoulders when they're sore. I said I might like that. <laughs> I knew I liked her. No. Okay, that was very sweet. Congratulations. It's all on your account, you know. Oh. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Junlei at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy scream into my pillow for like an hour. You do that. Live a look. Oh, Masaji, yeah. Parvati really doesn't like um, physical relationships, so... Allowing her to get a massage is already a big step. So. You go, girl. You go, girl. You go. I'm happy for her. Let's get this up. On the account that I neglected it for too long, I have some catching up to do. Uh, okay, which perk do I want? No, a girl who's the same? <gasps> Who that? <laughs> who's that? Uh, sounds like a real uh, weirdo. <laughs> uh, hmm. Mm. She turned into the moon. <laughs> nice. Um. Oh, when you activate tactical time dilation, you continue to move at normal speed for a short time. This effect only occurs when your TTD meter is full at time of activation. I'll take it. I sometimes really lack the movement speed, so I'll take it. It's an old folk... It's an old folklore, actually? No joke? Oh. Oh. Um, and we completed the quest, I guess. Mm. I don't think we have her quest anymore. Yeah. Okay. Time to head to... Scylla? Scylla? Well, whatever. Welcome back, Captain. How can I... Well, in honor Certainly, of our girl Captain. having what would you like a to partner hear? now, let's play our favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. There we go. Thanks. My pleasure, Captain. Thank you so much. As you wish, Captain. How I close? must comply with all direct orders. How close Goodbye. am I? How close am I to finishing this game? I actually have no idea right now. I have no clue. Scylla is one of the largest asteroids. Okay, so we're going to an asteroid. Okay. Go to the landing pad. See what that place is all about. Destination reached. Scylla. What, how, how did she say it? Scylla? Okay. Um, mm. On the door set. We have to update door, Dr. Dorset in sync with the status of her shipment. Dr. Dorset says Captain Irina. Which one will we do first? Now is the question. Mass Effect feels. <laughs> Major Mass Effect feels right now, right? Oh, that galaxy map really gives me Mass Effect throwbacks. Oh, it was a better time back then. With the old Mass Effect. It was a great time back then. We can start with... Let's look for that captain. We can... I think we can finish the planet with companion quests, maybe. Or should we start with companion quests? You know what? First, let's get out of the ship and then think what we're gonna do. 
Okay, let's do a save and continue. Um, let's go, girls. Let's go. <laughs> Empty and silent. I never thought I'd see the like. I I'd look up at night, but that thing's creepy. Uh, there we go. We. Ow. How big is this place? Oh, it's not big at all. Okay. There. Okay, let's go. This place is a jump. No. Nah. -uh. No can do. No can do. Oh, bones. Did you say this? You said no. No, you know you don't win. When it comes to you, I said yes. Fight me. I said no about something else. Oh, it's primal. Oh, I needed something. I needed something. A uh, primal letter. And I'm gonna get it. Sweet mother of damage. Call butterscotch. Bum shot. Bum shot. There we go. No, you didn't win fair and square. Mm -mm. What's up with this? Hmm. It's not the best choice, it's Bezos' choice. Examine. Captain's log. I wanted to retire on Groundbreaker. One more job, I told myself. Never had any trouble with outlaws until now. I told them what we were hauling, but they shut off comms and opened fire again. They're shooting to, to wound. It's only a matter of time before this bird falls out of the sky. So I'm settling her down in hopes that we can broker some agreeable terms to sur of surrender. Even if it means my head, at least the crew gets a fighting chance. Can't shake the feeling that what that they were ready for me. Like they knew exactly which route I'd take. What a way to end the career. Rip, buddy. Rip. Oh, that's a good sound in the distance. <clears throat> oh, hello. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sneaky. Boom. We're done here. We're doing some great damage. Maybe that's because. We were supposed to come here sooner than we actually did. But that's fine, right? That's all fine. It's over leveled, but it's fine. <laughs> Ooh. Don't do it again. I'm in space! Oh. Oh. At least I was in space for a few seconds. 
It was fun while it lasted. We. a lot of damage. I really am over leveled for this place. But it's okay. It is okay. I don't mind finally being able to waltz through somewhere. Um, physical damage received. Fine. I'll take it. Boo 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 chance to reset a companion ability cooldown on each. Oh right, I should experiment with my companion abilities now that I'm in an area like this. I should definitely do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, what is up with you, fellow? Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Uh-huh. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils, increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. Okay. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Captain Irian, I take it. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? She did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automechs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. How does it further your delay? What? Any idea what these pirates were after? Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Steve says, few all done. Congratulations on tidying up. Congratulations, Steve. <laughs> Congratulations. What will you do now? Well, I've got some repairs to do. Thankfully, I'm as skilled a mechanic as I am a violence resolution expert. Then... To the Groundbreaker. Better late than ever, I say. Unless you're very late. Then you might consider defaulting and skipping station. Those fees will bankrupt you. Hey, that's my actual sound I created? <laughs> yeah, I, re I recorded it while you were celebrating, finishing your cleaning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got microphones all over the place. Do you have an Alexa? That's, that's even easier for me to get it. <laughs> Okay, report to doctor. Oh, no, that's take max. Uh, wait. Nyoka needed something with a... Yeah, like this. Okay, let's go do some Nyoka stuff. Let's check out what the abilities are. Jesus! I'm almost level 30, I only discovered this awesomeness now? Whoa! I've been playing this game wrong the whole time. Damn! I've been really playing it wrong the whole time. <laughs> Those are some sweet abilities. I like it. 
Also had time to change the bed sheets and stick in some chicken fillets in the oven. Good. Without the pylons, all the O2, this thing's cracking from the ice would just. I was thinking that you changed the bed sheets and stuck some chicken fillets in it. I was like, what? Why would you do that? Hello! Smooth, smooth. Hello! Man, being over leveled is awesome! <laughs> right. I like the 10 primal letter. Cool. <laughs> Special recipe bed sheet wrapped chicken fillets. Mmm. <gasps> Interesting, very interesting. Hello! Housekeeping? Coming here to clean up your monsters. Here to clean up your monsters. Mm -hmm. uh, that's maybe where the hermit lives in a cave. I need Max for that. Somebody lives all the way out here? Surrounded by Aether? <laughs> of course, only Max's friends would do that. Because they're all weird. Including Max. Mm -hmm. Hello! Oh, let's keep it. Let's go. Nice. Man, that's awesome. Doesn't do much damage though, actually. I should probably get her a better weapon then. Butcher. Oh. Nice. Well, what's... What else did I need? Manti Queen Chitin, Rotator Flank High. Hmm. What do we got here? What do we got in here? The fizzy tea. In case we're thirsty. Oh, you finished. That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Hmm. <laughs> These glands are gross. Take them, please. Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. Oh, well. There's yeah. an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the Queen's Brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. What's Charon? Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. Aww. He said it That's was some old cool. myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. Rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so <laughs> here we are. Right? Remind me, what's this base again? It's an old cave system we tried to turn into an encampment. You'll see when we get there. Okay. It's about time. We're going to kill a Manti Queen. Fucking right we mm, are. Damn right, girl. Let's do it. First, we need to get the, to our ship. Science weapon is actually there. I missed it. Actually, no. Let's get Felix and um, let's get Felix and Max in our crew because they need to meet people here just in case we bump into them. Felix and Max. even that high.
Oh, oh. Oof. Game, don't scare me like that. Oh, hello. What was that? Doing this. Got him, boss. Special weapon. Oh dear, there's my my canoids. Oh, whatever they're called. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Turn it back. There it is. Come on, hit it. Come on. I'm not hitting it. There we go. This is not working. Oh, dro drones. And they revived. Cool. One more. Actually. Wow, Felix, you're you're a badass, aren't you? Let's get some heavy ammo. Heavy ammo, there it is. Great work. Thank you, thank you. I know. Ooh. Plasma launcher. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Mandibular rearranger? One head in melee. No clue. What's up with that? It doesn't look that useful. Oh, look at that. This place is so yellow. What do we got? Messages. Survey results. We completed the initial survey, and I have to admit that your hunch was right. I owe you lunch next time on Terra 1. Early start of survey before, you before we uncovered a mineral vein with high densities of yttrium and scandium. There's a limit to how much my team can extract in these pressure suits. Get us a terraformer and some prospecting mechanicals and this little venture of ours is going to make us all rich. Hope the weather on Terra 1 isn't getting you down. I hear our permanent facility on Hephaestus is almost ready for habitation. Day 17127. Thanks for rushing us out in the apartment replacement part of Linda. Did you have to send one loaded with seed stock? Damn grasses are triggering my allergies. <laughs> survey, first, survey efforts continue. That initial vein ran dry quicker than we hoped, but we're getting promising results from one location. Density of scandium lower than the first site, but yttrium still at respectable levels. We had a board team out here last week scanning for signals from the Hope. We could all guess the results from how unhappy they looked. It's been three years since the board classified the ship as missing. I think we'd be over by now. Oh, this is long ago then. This is decades ago. Congratulations on your promotion. Youngest full VP in company history. Just promise me you won't promote the drill that drill bit need ham to replace you. Bad news, Lynn. All the sites within the former dome have run dry. 
The mechanicals are bringing back good samples from beyond the retention field. I'll be sending you a requisition from a, for a hauler to, re to relocate the terraformer closer to the new sites. My team heard that you've arranged for some circus time traveling show to stop at our base. It was a big boost to morale. We can't wait for some entertainment out here. Denial of site relocation. I agree. Your request for site relocation on that useless lock is denied. You've had over a year to generate a profit. If you haven't done it by now, it's not going to happen. And Evers is too busy to hide your incompetence. I don't want to hear any of your absurd excuses either. The terraformer failure was bad enough. But this drill about primals running loose and damaging your equipment is the limit. The utter limit, do you hear? Operations at your site are terminated, effective immediately. I've got a new site in mind for you. One of the raw... One of the rocks orbiting Hephaestus. Times are a cool 170 degrees Celsius. You love it? Need him. Logs. Happy birthday, Julia. The visiting board team reminded me of a date. We should be celebrating your 42nd birthday today. I'd try and get you drunk with the latest Rizzo's concoction. Turn up your nose and say it was nowhere near as good as an earth wine. They are from Earth, so that is long ago. I don't know where you are, Big Sis. It's been 13 years since you entered hibernation. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is long ago. Since the hope started... Oh, yeah. It's been 30 years since you entered hibernation. Since the hope started its journey. I don't know what happened. Why you never got here. The architect is kind. You didn't suffer. I think about you all the time. Even... Every time one of the big interstellar conveyors blazes past, I look up and hope... Hope. Whoever named that damned ship could take a walk in the ether. I'm so sorry. I never should have convinced you to sign the indenture contract and join me in Halcyon. I'll never stop thinking about you, Jules. Please, please forgive me. Ask about sublight. Ask Linda for info on the sublight company. That freighter captain claimed to work for them. Very strange ship. No corporate branding our colors. The cap... Captains didn't wear an approved uniform. Dealing with him left me feeling out of sorts. Had some interesting items for sale, though. Can't shake the feeling that they fell off the back of a conveyor. That captain sold Harris something called Rearranger. Then left before we discovered the damn thing doesn't work. Only thing it rearranged is the number of bits on Harris's cart. Looks like some strange tech. Maybe a scientist can make something of it. Okay, that's the thing we picked up. Okay, so... This place has had problems a few years after Hope departed Earth, so this place is old. I wonder how long has it been abandoned? <laughs> Spicy says, no, fight me. Spicy, we've talked about this. What time is it? Oh, that's the Hermit's Lodge. It's for Max. I see we have talked about this. Don't make me get there and kick your ass. <laughs> what? What were? Okay. Sure. Grunting noises. Okay. Five oh seven a.m. Go to sleep. Please. Pretty please. I said the magic word. <laughs> you kicked my ass. Fine, let's go. Okay, let's go. Come on, Spicy. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I'm not afraid. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So. That's the hermit for you, Max. Hermit. Just gonna lose her stuff. Stop shushing me. Don't mind me. I'm just looting. I'm just looting. Sealed, maybe? Hmm. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? 
just more dirt and debris? Mm -hmm. Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? Uh, now that she put it like that. I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Okay. We're here to get this book translated, Max. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I've spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. Um... We've come a long way to help Max get some peace. Is there anything you can do to help? There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. Mm. What happens if you're unprepared? Either hallucinations followed by unconsciousness and a headache, or raving insanity, which can be fun in its own way. Well, Max just said he was prepared, didn't he? Wait, uh, when you say ingredients, do you mean drugs? A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. Well, Max just said he was prepared, didn't he? And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. No matter the cost. <laughs> it's just drugs, Max. We ain't making you walk in front of a firing squad. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm committed to taking as many drugs as possible, so count me in as well. <laughs> oh my god, uh, no, uh, I guess I'm in. Alright, head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. Oh god, we're, we're actually doing this. Table when you're ready to begin. We're actually gonna, we're actually gonna be tripping here. Whoa! Whoa. It's like one of those rituals that some cultures have with the drugs. Okay. Breathe deeply. Once again, save and let's do this. No. And what's wrong with your face? What's wrong, Max? Can't think straight? Now you know how I feel. Uh, wait, forget I said that. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out, always searching for answers, but always in the wrong Why is my soundbar so delayed? And I pressed the button accidentally, the wrong button, I didn't read the options. Okay, Vision Mom, how about giving us answers instead of hello platitudes? And platitudes from a figment, <laughs> figment of my imagination, bless. I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong key again. I'm sorry. But you know the truth. You don't need someone else to tell you. Wrong number key. Known it. Everyone knows it. They just won't see it. 
I'm on a roll today. We're overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days. The stories others tell us, and the stories we tell ourselves. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. I got your story right here. I'm Vicar Max. I'm uptight. I love the church, and I'm a stooge for the board. And I don't understand that Felix is a genius. I should have not taken him with me, should I? And also, I'm sorry, I'm really clumsy today. <laughs> I'm really clumsy. Oh my god, see what happens if you hit her? No, don't do that. Uh, your mom's right, Max. Your story blinded you to the truth and landed you in prison. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. Look where we are, Max. Look where we are, Max. Trusting your unbalanced, trusting an unbalanced hermit with your sanity seem rational to you? No, I just wanted to prove to my parents that I, that, I, damn it, you're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's long dead. To attain your goals, you must live in the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. <clears throat> Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architect's plan to sleep away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be all right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Yeah, Max, why do you do that? Max will figure it out. You need to kill this guy now. What are you talking about? He is he's yourself. You need to get rid of him. Get it? It's almost like a bad joke. I can do that. Here they we come. can handle this. I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. What? Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. Was I the only one who saw that? He's completely fine? What happened? I... woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no what? longer interpreting, I'm... experiencing. Everything... is perfect. Uh... I'm glad you found the answers you were looking for, Max. Because I was tripping. Bart. In a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss. 
but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way 